Tom here from Lauren Systems. This is the Ace Magic S1 Mini PC. This was sent to me by Ace Magic. I figured, well, I'll say yes to some of these emails because they sent a lot of them. I think they've been reaching out to a lot of creators trying to get their name out there, but this is actually not a bad little PC. Now, because this was sent to me, I'm being very upfront that no, this review is not going to be shaped by that. I do not give them a preview. They're learning about the review, in my opinion, the same as all of you with this particular video. They don't get any input onto it. But I've been running this for about 30 days, haven't had any problems with it. This is the model that has the weird little display on the front, so we're going to talk about that. And my overall opinion, if you don't want to watch the rest of the video, is it's not a bad little PC, especially with Cyber Monday coming up. Maybe you can find a good deal on this unit, but it's a reasonably priced, relatively tough box that hasn't given me any problems. But let's dive into the review now. Now, I don't give a lot of thought to the packaging. I mean, unboxings are kind of boring because I just throw the box away, but they did do a nice job of making this box not just a quality box, but actually give you a premium feel to it, including the kind of velvety feel that you have inside of it. Pretty nice. Still going to get thrown away. Now, much more important than the box are the hardware specs that are of the device itself. This has an Intel N95 4 core, 4 thread CPU that does a 3.4 gigahertz turbo, one single 16 gig DDR4, either a 512 or one terabyte MVE, depending on which one you order. Now, while this does have an MVME, the second M2 slot that's available in this is actually SATA. Now, depending on which model you choose, you'll get Wi-Fi 5.2 or Wi-Fi 5.6. This has two Realtek 1 gig interfaces, two HDMI ports driven by Intel UHD graphics. The device is surprisingly small and light, only showing about five inches when you use it standing up. And you can place it standing up or laying down. And if you want to use the magnetic base to keep it a little bit more stable in the standing up, that's pretty easy just to attach. This device has two USB 2.0 ports and two USB 3.0 ports. The other ports available on this, are going to be your two HDMI and your Kensington lock, along with your auxiliary port. You can access the M2 slots and memory via a magnetic cover on the side, which is really easy to remove. The other side that covers the fan does not open easy, and I didn't want to break it because the plastic was already cracking when I tried. The system ships with Windows 11 pre-installed, and the display on the system is novel, but is controlled by some preloaded program called CYX underscore TFT tool that runs on startup to keep the display working. I did not see an installer for the software on Ace Magic sites, but there is a discussion in some forums about doing some more customizations. I'll leave a link down below so you can dive into that with some other people that have been trying to hack away at it. Now, I did run some tests with Passmark, but as expected, it's not really a high performance system. I did leave a link so you can dive deeper into those tests and look at all the details, but it is low wattage and quiet, even when it's under load. That fan is a laptop fan, therefore it doesn't make a lot of noise. Now, I did test this with both Proxmox 8 and XCPNG 8.3, and it worked just fine with both. I didn't have any networking or loading issues, didn't have to do any tricks to get it to run. It'll also run Linux bare metal just fine. So this is definitely good for those little low-powered home lab use cases. Now, I know on their site they suggest using it for potentially a router, but I don't think that's a great idea because of the Realtek interfaces, which means it's not going to be well suited to run PFSense or OpenSense. The Realtek drivers always just give you headaches in any of the BSD-based systems, so unfortunately, this is not a good router for those operating systems. Maybe you'll have better if you want to build it as a Linux router. Now, when I said low wattage, I want to be more specific and say that this did not exceed 26 watts in any of the testing. I think that's reasonable for a home lab, and I know a lot of people are very concerned about high wattage, which also is high electric bill and also more heat being dissipated. This runs cool. Even with the fan running, it's not that much heat because it's not that many watts. So that works out pretty good. An alternative video I did see, an alternative use case I shaved for this than I've mentioned, would be using this as a retro gaming device. TechTweave did a good video on that and showed all the different retro games and how fast they run on it. And I think that's actually pretty cool. I watched a few videos on that channel because I really like retro games. Now, the next question of, is this a good deal? Well, that's a little bit subjective because I think the display is novel, but I probably will never use the display on it. Using it for Linux is more likely my use case for it, but maybe you want to run Windows on this and maybe you want to hack away and modify this even more and check out that forum poster. Maybe you want to try to figure out a way to make it work in Linux. That'd be kind of a novel project. If you do that, reach out to me, let me know, because this will probably be running Linux and I won't mess with the display. But if someone writes some drivers and writes some software for it, I would be willing to play with that. But on Ace Magic's site, they have this same model without the cool magnetic open, which I do like. I mean, that just makes it easy to get inside, but how often do you really need to get inside? Probably not that often. But their other model has 
a slightly different form factor, no display is $10 less as of today. And they have another model with the N95 processor that is even less than that, but that one doesn't have NVMe on it. It doesn't have the dual slots like this one does, but it's at least one SATA on there. Maybe that's enough for your use case. The other one's only $10 price difference, so availability might be a big deal too, because even if you don't want the display, if the only one available is display, you might end up buying that one. Let me know in comments down below which one you would choose, what you think of these devices. I think Ace Magic is making some pretty decent devices. I've actually bought a few of them. I have other ones that I own now. And uh, they've all held up without any problem, putting them under load and haven't overheated, haven't fallen apart. I don't know that those drives they use are the best drives, but at least it does have apparently some decent memory in it. But time will tell. It's one of those things like I try to load it as much as I can to do this review, but I can't really run it for a year and do a review because in a year something else will be out and that'll be what you're looking to buy. But hey, these are pretty cool. Like and subscribe if you want to see more content from this channel. You can connect with me over in the forums, or if you'd like to hire a short project, head over to lawrencesystems.com. That's where you can start that process or even connect with me on whatever socials are available when you go there. All right, and thanks.